Hello. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. My name is Bryce Tubbs. I'm always so grateful whenever someone takes the time to click on a video and sit and converse with me about my opinions and beliefs and observations from working with coaches, accountants, therapists, consultants, and photographers for about four years and 11 months. Getting closer to five years, but who's counting? <laughs> so, how to win during a recession. You know, what is a recession? A recession, let me tell you a story. So, a recession is basically when money starts, there's two sides, right? The people who have a little bit of money, this is called oftentimes the middle class or the lower class, right? Or the, yeah, lower class. And there are people who are in the upper class. These are people making more than 40K a month, right? So this is people making 400 grand a month or 400 grand a year and up, right? How do you make that much money? It's generally the people who have products and services and businesses and high paying jobs that are really in high demand, right? They're solving a lot of problems for people versus the middle class and the poor. They're generally working for someone else to solve someone else's dreams or someone else's problems, right? <clears throat> so during a recession, all the money starts to go from the people who are in the middle class and in the lower class, they start spending, 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 but they don't have the skills to be able to go and bring in new money. So they lose their jobs. These bigger guys, you know, everybody's taking a hit. Everybody's struggling. But the only ones who are making a lot of money and actually winning are the people on this side who are able to pull in new money, right? Because all the people here are giving them their money, but these people, the poor middle class, are not able to create new flows of income. So what... I assume you started your business for is so that you can start to stand in the way of the money that's coming from either middle, lower, or whoever your clients and potential clients are going to be. Once you can do that, and once you understand exactly how to get the attention of people who are spending money and give them something that they either want or that they need, you're going to start to be able to beat recessions more convincingly. Okay, A lot of people just barely squeak on by. I don't want that for you. I want your business to actually grow during a recession. Very important. If you're an accountant, your business should be growing through a recession because businesses need to start learning how to um, be more efficient so they can't be having their expenses as high. They need to know exactly where their money is going, how to use that money more effectively, which product lines are better for them in order to be able to kind of steer through it. Now, that's a problem that these businesses have, and that's a need that you're going to be solving you just need to know how to go get the attention of the people that are the problem. The same thing with coaching your therapy. People are going to be wanting to talk about their current situation and complaining. They want to feel better. They want to have skills and actionable steps to take in order to change their life and change their behaviors. During a recession, there's a misconception that, you know, well, you know, coaching is not a necessity. So, you know, you're going, I'm going to lose my clients. Okay, cool. That's what you told yourself, but that does not necessarily have to happen. If you can constantly get new attention, you're going to be able to get more money. It's not like money, you know, stops. It's just given to a different set of people. It's being redistributed. Okay, the same way that you're getting new money, there's going to be other business owners or other individuals or people who are going to be receiving money. So now you need to turn your attention to how do I get them to want to give me money? How do I do coaching services for those people who now have new money and want to spend new money? That is how you bully a recession. That's how you win during a recession, okay? So if this is something that you're interested in, learning how to win in all economic cycles. Think about it, right? Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, all these big guys, do you think that they're crying during a recession? No, it's because they built systems that allow them to move forward when all of their competition is scared. And that's what we teach our clients how to do, and that's what I've done for myself. If that's something that you want to have, I recommend that you go check out my group called Uncapped Growth Strategies. Inside, it gives you a day-by-day, play-by-play look into exactly what I'm doing for my business and for my life to be able to steer and drive and be in total control to go where I want, when I want, with who I want, um, you know, when I want. I have the full control of the who, what, when, where, and why of my life. 
If that's what you want, I recommend you take that first step by joining the group. There's going to be a link in the description below or in the comment section surrounding this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Feel free to hit that share button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Take it easy. See you soon. See you later.